So welcome to the uh, Department for Agrobiotechnology, the IFATUM, which is a department of the University of Natural Resources and Life Sciences Vienna, the BOKU uh, in Wien. The uh, department is uh, located about 40 kilometers uh, west of Vienna uh, along the Danube, uh, beautifully located uh, uh, in the little town called Tulln. And uh, the institute's uh, was uh, founded uh, as an institute, now being a department of the BOKU, University of Natural Resources and Life Sciences Vienna. It was founded as an institute in 1994 uh, as a joint research site of three major universities in Vienna. The uh, University of uh, Veterinary Medicine in Vienna, the Vienna University of uh, Technology and uh, the uh, BOKU in Vienna as well. So the idea was to bring together the experts uh, with uh, a complementary background ranging from animal breeding to plant breeding, environmental biotechnology, bioanalytics and also natural materials technology under one uh, umbrella, umbrella with uh, complementary uh, backgrounds to perform high level interdisciplinary research in the area of agrobiotechnology. This uh, complementary background is also reflected by the uh, different uh, institutes uh, which are established at the IFA Tuln. We have got five institutes uh, located in Tuln and one institute uh, which is uh, belonging to the IFA Tuln but located in Vienna. So the first institute which I would like to bring to your attention is the Institute for Natural Materials Technology. They have got high level expertise in the area of injection molding as well as the extrusion of natural materials. So this uh, is uh, one of our institutes uh, with uh, a highly uh, innovative background in the area of renewable resources. Another uh, institute uh, which uh, reflects uh, the interdisciplinary and interuniversitary background of uh, our department is the uh, Institute for Biotechnology in Animal Production, which is supervised by uh, the experts of the University of Veterinary Medicine. The basic research which is performed by uh, this uh, institute is uh, lying in the area of molecular and cellular biological questions and is uh, also applied directly to breeding practices through modern uh, reproduction uh, techniques. The third institute uh, which uh, has been uh, established uh, at uh, the IFA Tulln is the Institute for Environmental Biotechnology. This institute uh, is mainly concerned with the development and also practical use uh, of environmental biotechnological processes as for instance uh, the uh, bioremediation bio of soils which are contaminated for instance with polycyclic aromatic uh, hydrocarbons. The uh, Institute for Biotechnology in Plant Production is devoted to basic and uh, applied research in the field of crop improvement such as uh, the uh, breeding of uh, wheat and maize genotypes which have got a genetically based resistance against um, fusarium invasion which is one of the major uh, invading fungi uh, in uh, middle Europe and uh, also almost worldwide. So the institute for center, uh, the institute uh, which is our center for analytical chemistry at the IFA Tulln uh, is also uh, mainly concerned with the analysis of such toxic uh, metabolites such as uh, mycotoxins. Uh, there is a wide range uh, of activities from proficiency testing in water analysis to the uh, determination of uh, allergens in food as well uh, as uh, the uh, determination of mycotoxins uh, but also moving from target analysis to a more holistic approach uh, towards metabolomics to understand uh, the uh, whole range of low molecular uh, weights compounds being produced by um, an organism. This expertise uh, on the area of natural toxins 
where we have got the Institute for Environmental Biotechnology uh, which can screen for microbes which are able to degrade, to detoxify mycotoxins as secondary toxic metabolites of fungi. The Institute for Biotechnology and Plant Production which is breeding for these crops which have this resistance against uh, fungal uh, invasion and the Center for Analytical Chemistry uh, which can detect mycotoxins. This expertise is complemented ideally by the sixth, the uh, recent institute uh, of the IFATUM, the Institute of Animal Nutrition Products and Nutritional Physiology. This institute is located at the Vienna Institute of Biotechnology uh, in Mutgasse in uh, Vienna and uh, can perform, uh, for instance, immunotoxicological immuno studies as well as the uh, impact of uh, mycotoxins uh, on animals through ingestion, um, through uh, feeding stuff. So this is uh, the um, interdisciplinary background uh, reflected by these five institutes and I would like to uh, bring to your attention one of the research areas where we can ideally uh, recognize um, and see what uh, happens when interdisciplinary um, cooperation blossoms under one uh, roof, under the roof of the IFATUM. Uh, this uh, area is uh, the large uh, research field of mycotoxins, bioactive substances, using modern bioanalytical tools. So, as already pointed out on my previous slide, uh, this is an area where uh, we have got a couple of uh, institutes uh, at the IFATUM which are cooperating. Uh, in the area of mycotoxin research and bioanalytics. We have got the Center for Analytical Chemistry and also the biotechnology and plant production, plant breeding, uh, detecting of uh, the mycotoxins, the metabolites uh, by modern analytical tools. And we've got a, a wide range of uh, research uh, uh, projects funded uh, uh, mainly by the Christian Doppler Foundation. We uh, recently had a Christian Doppler Laboratory for mycotoxin research. Now we have a new mycotoxin uh, metabolism lab uh, which uh, uh, is also uh, funded up to a period of seven years. So uh, this is certainly an ideal basis for um, sustainable research in this area, recently also uh, being supported by companies like Nestle, Biomin or Roma Labs. And uh, we have also been very active uh, in the area of uh, European Commission funded projects. Um, recently uh, the project uh, MicroRed, which is dealing with the worldwide reduction of mycotoxins along the whole food and feed chain um, uh, has started. Uh, we have a project dealing with indoor molds with indoor air quality where we have been able to uh, develop a method which can cover up to 270 uh, different uh, toxic bacterial, fungal and plant metabolites which can occur in food fields but also indoors. Uh, the area of bioactive substances uh, covers uh, a wide range uh, from biocontrol applications to pharmaceutical uh, applications. Uh, here uh, the uh, Institute for Environmental Biotechnology, uh, the uh, Plant Production Biotechnology and also Center for Energy Chemistry are again cooperating uh, to uh, identify and also to isolate bioactive substances uh, as for instance from Trichoderma species uh, which are able to have uh, an impact uh, on different uh, organisms um, and uh, which uh, can be applied uh, both uh, in our research projects as well as uh, in a, a, a great variety of industrial applications. So this uh, is again an example uh, that the original concept of the IFATUM to perform interdisciplinary uh, cooperations with complementary expertise from uh, different uh, experts belonging to three uh, different university uh, has indeed been a very successful project in the area of agrobiotechnology.